Hmm. I wonder what I should review today. I already did first aid. Here's a cool little figure. I have finished hot spot. Rook or No. No, please not this. I It's gonna be one of those reviews, isn't it? Greetings and salutations, everybody. This is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict, coming to you with part number five of the Transformers Combiner Wars Defensor Week. Now, as you see before you, we have the four Protector Bots, which I already reviewed. But we're going to be taking a look at this little guy down here. It's Groove! It's, it's Little Groove. Um, not sure how to really feel about this little guy. Let's get these other guys out of here real quick. Let's just let, let's get them out of the way. You know, they they had their spotlight. It, it's time for them to go away now. Bye bye, bye bye. Okay, so it's little Groove. It's Scout class Groove. I know it's Legends class, but it's it's Scout class. I just want to make that clear. But anyway, looking at Groove, he's a very nice Cybertronian esque high tech motorcycle. Um, now, I can understand why they made him a scout class, however, I am still not happy with this. It, it's just, I, when watching Generation 1, I'm so used to seeing Groove be a leg. Just, just, he, he can be a leg. Now, I know there's a way for Groove to hook on to Rook to make him sort of be a leg, to kind of homage that he was a leg joint, or he was a leg at one point. But, I, I'm not trying to rant, but I really, really would like to own that Unite Warriors groove. Or at least have Hasbro release that that groove as a online exclusive. Hopefully, much like they will do, if possible, with the Combiner Wars Blastoff. Because we know Combiner Wars isn't done yet, and it won't be done for a good while, even though Titan's Return is coming right down the road some point in the future. But, you know, I really hope that Hasbro sees that, you know, we as fans want the characters we remember as how we remembered them. And again, me being a 90s kid, uh, early 90s kid, or no, late 90s kid, growing up with Transformers, Armada, and all that, it, I would really like to see a deluxe groove and a proper Generation 1 deluxe blast-off. For an online exclusive, and it would make sense that they did that because we did that with Superion and Menasaur. All they have to do is do that with Defensor and Bruticus, and we already have the Constructicon, so that's done. So maybe they have something planned, maybe they don't. But anyway, to get back onto the review, as you can see here, he has a lot of nice molding and paint decals. Uh, he has a nice star with an Autobot insignia tampographed right down the middle. He has some nice molding detailing right there. He even has a molded in kickstand. Which is kind of cool. It's nice. It, you know, proper display work. You can even have them like that or like that. And um, he has some nice. He has a nice gold windshield. Windshield. Windscreen. I guess windscreen because he's a motorcycle. And uh, yeah, it could work. It works very well. Uh, he can roll fairly well because he's so big, and uh, he has some nice big wheels too, which is really nice. And, yeah, that's that's honestly really pretty much it for Groove in his vehicle mode. So, for size comparison, here he is with the next reviewed member of the Protector Bots. Here he is with the Rookie, Rook, in the sense of scale. And I think that works pretty well. Um, I kind of wish that he had some sort of, like, light bar on him or something to... You know, say, hey, he's a police spike. He's part of the Protectobots. He's not just some motorcycle. You know, I, I thought that would be pretty cool. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, again, really hope Hasbro decides to go, hey, you know, we saw that Unite Warriors got this treatment. Let's give you a deluxe groove and a blast off. And, uh, as an online exclusive, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. But, anyway. That's really pretty much it for his vehicle mode, so you guys know what time it is. It's time to transform!
And here we have Groove in his robo mode, and as you can see, it's different. Um, they still managed to kind of pull off a Generation 1-esque look. Sorta. Of. Kinda. Of. Well, actually, now looking at it, yeah, they kind of did. So, I'm not going to get too much onto this figure, but... I wish it was a deluxe. I really, really wish this was the deluxe groove. I mean, not saying that this is a bad figure. I just, I really want this to be a deluxe groove. Or, you know, maybe even some sort of oversized slash where, where it could have a combiner port and everything. Peg and everything. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Eh, my feelings are strong. Overall... I can't really say too much good about this figure. It does have the nice Generation 1 aesthetic look to it. But it... It looks weird. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to go easy on this guy. I went easy in a lot of my reviews, and I'm not making that mistake anymore. This guy looks weird. His legs are very thick. Or his shins, rather, are very thick because it's the back of the motorcycle. And then he has lengthy little thighs and it makes him look really weird his arms are lengthy he's just I mean for a scout class figure yes I expect that but not like this I'm not gonna complain though I'm glad I got a groove it's my first groove so he's cool though I do like him um again I prefer the Takara version or hey you know again if Hasbro decides to make it the deluxe groove and uh, blast off from Unite Warriors Hasbro exclusives online then you know you can go ahead and do something like that but I hope in one of these days you know we get that because Combiner Wars is not over just yet so for a size comparison it's gonna be something a little different here he is next to a can of Mountain Dew Code red to the do, and uh, you can see he's about three. I want to say like three quarters high, like he's like right there. So like one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four quarter. There, yeah. So it's like three quarters high of a can of Mountain Dew. Let's put him in the center. Let's bring in hot spot. Let's bring in blades. Let's bring in first aid. And of course, let's bring in Streetwise and get a nice group shot going on. Because group shots are something that has to happen in a video review, so let's back everything up. Blades, you come over here. Hotspot, you. Or hotspot, first aid. And that way, Streetwise, you go that way. There you go. So there you go, you got a good scale of what the protective bots look like with Groove. And he looks pretty good. He looks cool. I like him. I like him a lot. Again, he's just weird, man. He's just really weird. So. Uh, articulation on this guy is pretty standard. I don't believe he has any head rotation. No? Okay. He's got ball-jointed so shoulders, so they can go not 360 degrees, but like 180. I mean, they could go 360 degrees if you really want it to, but I'm not risking popping out of his arm. His forearms are on a ball joint. They can do this. They can go forward and back. You can utilize that joint, by the way. It's on a hinge. Well, actually, no, it, it is on the ball joint, too. So, forward, back, sort of, in and out. Swivel on the forearms. No wrist articulation. No waist articulation. Thighs are on a ball joint. And a mushroom peg. He has a nice 90-degree knee bend. And, of course, he has foot articulation due to his transformation. So... Yay! Articulation, posing. Overall, though, if you happen to want to pick up this figure to complete your Protectobots, then by all means, go ahead and go for it. But, realize what you're getting yourself into. And also, he does have a chest piece mode, and uh, we'll get into that with Defensor's review this or uh, tomorrow afternoon or evening. Because I don't feel like showing it off in this video review, even though this is his specific review. I prefer to save that for Defensor, because that's when he'll really be needed. So, 
Anyway, guys, that's really pretty much it. So this has been my video review for the Transformers Combiner Wars Scout Class, not Legends, Groove. And I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe, because this is the only channel where your entertainment will be transformed. And by all means, if you happen to really want to pick this guy up, then go ahead and do so, because I recommend so you can decide. And remember, until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and of course, TF Addicts for life. This is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict, rolling out. Peace.